Well, hi folks, uh, November 18th. Uh, it's uh, been a fun day. Got, uh, this is an important one. Uh, and I'll have links in the description section of this. And of course, uh, they're starting to roll this up, folks, and it's what we've been talking about since I... I've been talking about since I was grade six, and everybody thought I was an idiot. Uh, the people who didn't listen are going to look in the mirror and think they're idiots, because here it goes. Uh, I started off a little bit on Dominion Voting. This is by Rebel News. It's sort of interesting. Although there's a little takeaway there. The Tides Canada has changed their name. They're called Makeway. And I've got links to all of that in the description end. Uh, I'm not sure if you're Canadian or if you're not Canadian. Maybe you've heard of Gerald Butts. He was uh, Trudeau's principal secretary. And when the SNC-Lavalin affair broke, uh, he, took the, uh, he took the fall. He resigned. There was some skullduggery going on as they buried this whole scandal. Uh, went on to bury the Wee scandal after that. But, uh, now Trudeau was sort of put the world on notice with his, uh, the release of that video he did in September to the world body about uh, the pandemic is, is the opportunity to set their, get the reset started. And uh, it's interesting because you look at what Gerald, just there's several links to what Gerald Butts is involved in. And, uh, of course, this cronyism goes on here. Uh, now Trudeau looks after his friends. And uh, it's all pretty self-explanatory. I mean, they have this whole plan laid out. Uh, somebody called it the ideal, uh, ideology for fools. But it's only for fools if we, if we just keep our heads in the sand. Because we're going to be the fools if we don't really get our act together. Uh, or maybe you're happy with this whole uh, piece of shit that they're laying, the world is laying out, the elites are laying out. Uh, but anyway, one of the things uh, under Butts, uh, Build Back Better plan, they have the whole plan, uh, you know, it's sort of really quickly been put together. But check out the Corporate Knights. Knights uh, just check out the Corporate Knights. Uh, that, that whole, that name sort of... It, is for me is om ominous. It's uh, and of course mainstream is finally starting to pick it up. Tucker Carlson has done a couple of uh, a couple of blurbs on Trudeau and uh, some of the other uh, really serious uh, you know, independent journalists have as well. That's where the ideology for fools comes from. Uh, that's uh, you'll see it. You'll see that in there if you follow these links. And I know a lot of people aren't looking at these. They're too busy. They're too busy. But I would really suggest you look at it. Uh, look at uh, look at the one from England on Boris Boris Johnson. You find that intriguing. I see uh, Germany has rolled past some new laws. Denmark has followed suit, and they're pretty much along the lines of New Zealand and Australia, France. So the Western world is starting to really get serious. Quarantine camps, here you come. Think about that. I mean, uh, it's beyond the time of laughing at people talking about this. Give your head a shake and really look at this. Really, really look at this, because... It, they're, they're rolling it out. There's talk in Canada. And people want uh, Trudeau to take over and have a national emergency plan. I mean, much like uh, England has done, Germany has done, Denmark has done, France has done, New Zealand and Australia are doing. Or New Zealand for sure has done. It's uh, getting scary, folks. Uh, I, I don't think people understand the ramifications. They all thought this was tin hat stuff. And I can remember back, way back in the 50s, when I, a grade 6 teacher was talking about this. And uh, 
I thought it was bogus then, and everybody sort of thought it might be a good idea. This whole idea of one world government, a new world order. And uh, most people didn't pay attention when George Bush Sr. talked about it, spoke about it. Uh, I think some people are getting it now, that there's something coming down the pipe that's not going to be pretty. And uh, leave it at that. Uh, I think uh, if you don't look at this, don't pass this information on, well, you're just going to deserve what we get. I, I, I just think it's asinine if people don't really look at this and take it seriously now. You know, Trudeau's gone from doing blackface crap and all his stupid stuff that he's done. Now he's now got the idea, he's got, he's got this whole game plan in his mind. Uh, not just him, he's working with the World uh, Economic Forum, uh, International Monetary Fund, the high flyers at Davos. All of the elite people, the business of the world, the social media giants, uh, this is not about making anything better for us. It's about making it better for the elites. It's total control. And whatever, uh, you know, I'm looking stateside at what's happening in the election there. And it's sort of, uh, sort of scary as Trump, if Trump doesn't make it through this, well, we're done. Because uh, I don't think uh, there's any other leader who would stand up for the average person and say, no, this isn't what we need to do. I don't think Russia would fall for this or the Chinese. So, I guess we have a banana public re elections and we're going to be thir a third world country. And um, if you think I'm just sort of uh, bullshitting you, Follow those links through. Do some research yourself. It's time to do some research, folks, and get serious. But anyway, that's about all for today. I'll uh, chat with you tomorrow and uh, see what everybody says. Bye for now.